Hi, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director. And here we are in Power Director looking at some of the features in the program. One of the most basic features has to do with the function of the timeline. Rippling has to do with how adding a clip to the timeline or removing a clip from the timeline affects all the other clips that are on the timeline. So for instance, in this sequence I've got here on my timeline, what happens if I drag a clip from the project media panel or the media room down onto or right in between a couple of clips on the timeline, what will happen to the other clips? Will they move aside? Will it overwrite what's there? Uh, and likewise, if I were to select a clip on the timeline and delete it, what happens to the other clips? Do they slide in to fill the gap or do they remain where they are? Now, in many video editing programs, rippling is an automatic feature. In other words, it's usually enabled unless you turn it off. And as you add or remove clips from your timeline, the clips that the other clips, the remaining clips that are on the timeline will either slide right or slide left to accommodate those moves. With PowerDirector, though, you have to make the decision each time you add a clip. So, for instance, if I wanted to insert this clip in my existing movie, right there for instance, when I let it go, the program gives me options. Do I want to overwrite what's there? Do I want to insert? Uh, do I want to insert and move all of the clips off to the right, overlay it with a crossfade, or simply replace what's there? In most cases, I'm going to choose this, right? Insert and move all clips. My other option, simply insert, does essentially the same thing. The difference between the two is if I were to have a clip here on another track. Let's just drag a couple of clips down here to the second video track. And now what happens when I add this clip and I don't choose any other options rather than the basic insert. Now when I add it, notice that only the clips on this particular track move off to the right to accommodate that as opposed to when I drag it down here and select the option to insert and move all clips, in which case all clips on all tracks move off. Likewise, the same thing if I were to select this clip and delete it, I have options. I just press the delete button on my keyboard and I have options. Do I want to delete it and leave a gap there or remove it and fill the gap only with the clips on this particular track. In other words, if I delete it and select that option, delete and fill gap, you notice that only the clips on that track, track number one, moved to the left to fill in the gap. If I were to select the other option by pressing delete, fill gap, notice that all clips on all tracks move in. So this is decisions you have to make each time you add or remove a clip from your movie. Now that may seem complicated like a two-step process, but you can use keyboard shortcuts to simplify that. If I wanted to insert a clip in my existing movie, I can simply shift and drop. See what it says? So rather than dragging the clip as is from the media room, I'm going to hold down the shift key, drag the clip down, and when I let it go, there it goes. It inserted into the movie and all clips on all tracks moved off to the right to accommodate it. Likewise, rather than simply pressing the delete button, which brings up the option menu, I can select alt delete and press delete. Now, instead of the option screen, it immediately ripples everything from the right to fill in the gap. So a couple of shortcut keys to remember. If you want to use rippling, you simply hold down the shift key as you add a clip to your existing movie. All clips on all tracks will move aside to accommodate you. If you want to remove a clip, hold down the Alt key after you've selected your clip, press Delete, and then it will ripple close. It all depends on whether you want to go through the Options screen, but in PowerDirector, that's the way it works. You need to make the decision each time you add a clip or remove a clip from the center of your movie. Now, if you want to know all about this wonderful program, I hope you'll check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about every tool in the program, and it has got a lot of depth here in PowerDirector, be sure to check out our moviepix.com guide to CyberLink PowerDirector. It's available at amazon.com and, of course, right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thank you for joining me.